K Black Boxing. Coming to you with another video. It seems as if, uh, you know, Adrian Bronner, man, he just can't stay out the headlines. You know, if it was just truly just about boxing, you know, him being in the headlines about boxing, I wouldn't even, you know, I wouldn't care about too much, you know, if he just trying to market his brand or just, you know, keep his name popular, you know, even when he's not fighting, but just, you know, keep keep his keep his name out there. You know, I would appreciate that from a boxer standpoint. But it seems as if when I make videos about uh, Adrian Broner, man, it's more, it's none, you know, it's more non-boxing related than it is it, than it is about boxing. You know, I'm just reading BoxingScene.com, man, and, you know, his squad got shot up. You know, according to BoxingScene.com, I guess he was in Kentucky, and police pulled, pulled over his vehicle which has bullet shots in them. And they said they talked to Adrian Broner, and he gave his account of the story. He said he felt as if somebody followed him from a bar. And I guess I got to a particular point, and they, you know, shot at, shot at his vehicle. You know, Adrian Broner didn't get harmed, you know, uh, but... You know, whoever the, whoever did it, they was trying to harm the guy. You know, they shot at the car. Said the car got hit by eight different times. They found like ten uh, nine millimeter uh, shells outside the vehicle. So they were trying to really get at AB. You know. So when 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 does it you know it, it takes effect in a person's mind? The man is twenty eight years old now. When does it take effect in this person's mind that you can't keep continue to do? Uh, things that have put yourself in a line like negative, negative. You know, somebody shooting at you, man. Dude, you supposed to be a professional boxer who has children. Only thing you should supposed to be on your mind is tr trying to uh, better yourself as a boxer, man. You know, actually, boxing hasn't been bad to you at all, man. You know, you have won titles in four different divisions. You know, you one of the lucky ones. You you with a good advisor in Al Heyman. He take care of you. You have made millions. I mean, dude, you're not suffering. So what what you know, I'm not I don't know, you know, like I said, I'm not blaming him for, for this incident, but my whole thing is this if you wasn't there, it wouldn't have happened. And I'm not saying, you know, I'm not saying at all. That you can't go have fun and, you know, chill out with your friends or with your family members or whatever the case may be. But it comes a time and a place that you can't keep putting yourself in situations like this, man. Because, you know, this particular time you pulled through, you didn't get hit, you didn't get touched, it's okay. But next time they might actually hit their target, man. You know, I saw in the article he did get arrested because he actually got a warrant in Cincinnati. But uh, he was... Released on bail, you know, so they say you got to go to court like April 27th or whatever, I guess, on that uh, charge that he got a warrant for. I don't know, man. And this and this one, I'm not trying to, you know, sometimes I bash him, man. And this one, I'm not trying to bash him, man. I don't think I'm just trying to say, man, get your life in order, man. You know, it's always something, like I said, it's always something about you. They don't have nothing to do with boxing, man. You know, you you went off on, basically, you know, you did a rant about, with, about Tank Davis and, and Mayweather, you know, um, on your uh, social media, you know, cussing and, you know, calling people out and doing all that type of nonsense, man. But, and now this, man, you know, come on. You got to be better than that, man. And not for you, at least for your own children. Because and eventually, all this publicity, whether it's negative or positive, all these things that, uh, that keep your name in the headlines, the event is going to evaporate. People no longer going to talk about you. Like I said, I don't know what happened. Only thing I've just read, the, I just read on BostonScene.com, so I don't really know what, what, what truly happened because I'm pretty sure you probably left some stuff out. You know, but my thing is, man, they was gunning for you. So next time, they might not miss. This is K Black Boston. Like, comment.